Question 28, we're asked to solve um, 2 cos 2x. Take away 5 cos x, take 4 equals 0. Uh, added complication, the x has to be between 0 and 2 pi. Um, you're allowed 0, um, you're not allowed 2 pi, 360. Uh, I'll solve these uh, in degrees and then put my final answer into radians, okay? Which is the complication at the end, okay? Okay, cos 2x, we need to get rid of that. That's 2 cos squared x minus 1. Why did I pick that one? Because the other uh, part of this question has to do with cos. So that's me got a sum just with cos. Okay, cos squared is cos cos. Okay, right. Multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Take 2 ones are 2. Okay, take 5 cos x, take 4. Tidy it up a bit. We have 4 cos squared x, take 5 cos x. Take 6 equals 0. Uh, Factorise it. There we have it there. 4 cos x times cos x. 4 cos squared x. Take 8 cos x plus 3 cos x gives you minus 5. Plus 3 times minus 2 gives minus 6. So we have two solutions. Cos x is negative 3 quarters. First of all, do a shift cos of 3 quarters and you get 41.4. And you reflect that line into the two areas where cos is negative, the sine positive and the tan positive. Reflect that over, that's 41.4. So the angle we want is 180 take 41.4. Reflect it down, 180 plus 41.4. So we have a 138.6 and 221.4. Incidentally, cos x equaling 2 has no solutions. Cos doesn't go up to 2. Just let's sign it, just goes up to 1. Okay, so we have our two solutions, and how do we change them into radians? Well, 180 degrees is pi radians, so 1 degree is pi over 180 radians. So, what was our first one? 138.6 degrees. That's going to be 138.6 times what 1 degree was, pi over 180. Use your pi button if you want. Uh, 138.6 times pi divided by 180 gives you 2.4 radians. And the other solution we got in degrees was 221.4 times that by pi, then divided by 180, and you get 3.9 radians.